Megan Kelly, Fox News. That made sense. Megan Kelly, what is she, uh, NBC now? I don't even know where she is. Probably doesn't make sense. And now we have some social justice outcry over racist statements from Megan Kelly. The story from BuzzFeed News, Megan Kelly defended blackface on her show while discussing Halloween costumes. I cannot believe the ignorance of this in 2018, responded Padma Lakshmi. You are on national television, you have a responsibility to educate yourself on social issues. This is what I really love about the whole social justice, regressive, regressive left stuff. I don't even want to call it social justice because the core of social justice, I actually don't mind, it's the identitarianism, right? And I'll clarify that real quick. When you, when you make it illegal to discriminate based on race, that I understand. When you make it legal to discriminate based on race, you're racist, right? This, this, some of it I agree with, some of it I don't. I don't believe an institution should be able to be like, these people of this race can't come here. But I do believe we should be able to say, Harvard, you can't kick people out or, or restrict them based on their race, right? Both of those are being lumped into social justice. One is wrong, one is right. Here's the issue. Whenever I talk about some of this stuff online, people say, it's not my job to educate you. I tweeted something like, uh, I, you know, give me a good reason to vote for a Democrat. And someone said, why is it my job to educate you on these things? You have a responsibility, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, okay, listen, you have a responsibility to understand things for sure. But you're trying to get the vote, which means there may be things I can't find through no fault of my own. You got to educate me. Megyn Kelly, she kind of defended blackface, right? Um, it wasn't like she was overly saying it's a good thing, go do it. She was just like, I don't understand what's wrong with it. And that's what they're calling defense. And they're saying she should have educated herself. Well, no, if she didn't know, you should politely educate her. What's wrong with informing people? Hey, just so you know, it's offensive. And personally, I do believe blackface is entirely inappropriate because it's rooted in a history when we actually had hardcore racial segregation and it was part of minstrel shows and it was meant to, char to, to characterize and in, in, in many instances ridicule a certain group of people, right? Uh, well, black people. Here's the thing about cultural appropriation though. Dressing up with a sombrero and a poncho isn't meant by the average individual to be mocking them and it's not rooted in a culture of where we segregated Latinos. It's, it's literally just uneducated people putting something on. Here's the thing. In today's uh, day and age, if you're not familiar with why it's offensive and inappropriate to do blackface, then someone should politely inform you. And I don't believe you should, your career should be over, it should be ended because we've actually, there was like some hubbub over like Drake doing it too because he's light skinned and it's like, there, there are, maybe it wasn't Drake, but there was like, I think it was, there was some show where they, they darkened a kid's skin with, he was an extra and they said he wasn't black enough to be an extra and it's getting ridiculous, right? Like, are you gonna end someone's career with that? No, I don't think so. Didn't, did, is Megyn Kelly wrong in this instance? I believe so. I, I, believe there's a, I believe there's a fine line between putting on a show where you, you, caric you, you, you make a caricature of a certain group of people and, and you exclude them and, you know, the difference between, like, if someone wore a kimono or uh, um, a chipao, right, the Chinese dress. There's some of it, like, a guy having dreads is not meant to deride or insult somebody. Right? I don't even believe that wearing a Halloween costume that's meant to make you look like a stereotypical character or something is, is necessarily offensive. Blackface is very different. It's rooted in a different culture. And there is a fine line. Absolutely. It's, 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 it's nuanced. Inappropriate doesn't mean you can't do it. Look, in my opinion, I think someone's going to punch you in the face if you do. Megyn Kelly, I think she was wrong. Here's what, here's what happened. Megyn Kelly defended blackface during a discussion on Halloween costumes on her NBC morning show Tuesday. But what is racist, Kelly asked her all-white panel, as if that was, that, that mattered. Because you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on blackface on Halloween or a black person who puts on whiteface for Halloween. That's not true. Whiteface is not offensive. I don't think anybody cares. I think a small group of people actually care. If, if, if anything, the reason they would care is because of a double standard, right? Back when I was a kid, that was okay, as long as you were dressing up as, like, a character, she said. I think Megyn Kelly is, 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 is conflating the idea of wearing makeup to darken your skin and wearing specifically blackface, which is part of minstrel shows and part of the, you know, the, 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 the past of this country that we, we moved away from. It was before the civil rights movement. It's just considered inappropriate. I do believe that there are cer certain things that are offensive that you should avoid doing. Look, I think hate speech is wrong. 100%. I just think you should be allowed to say it, right? If someone said they wanted to pass a law making blackface illegal, I'd probably be like, I don't think you should be able to do that. If someone said that, you know, a person was walking around in blackface, I'd be like, I really don't like that person. They're a bad person for doing that. And I would try to politely educate them and convince them why they shouldn't do that. The same thing is true for hate speech. You want to say a bunch of really ridiculously offensive stuff? I say this to people all the time. 
You're never going to win your argument by being mean to people. Posting about how you hate a certain group of people, a certain group of people because of just who they are is not convincing anybody, right? The, one of the big problems we have with like social media censorship is conflating hate speech with reasoned arguments that are political. Like Tommy Robinson, he posted something about how the, the grooming gangs in the UK are overwhel overwhelmingly Muslim and he got suspended because of it. That's not hate speech. That's statistics. And that's, that's, and that's where the problem is. If you want to go on Twitter and spew a bunch of racist nonsense and just be a mean person, you're ineffective and you're only going to make everyone rally against you. But by all means, do it. In my opinion, you know, Twitter won't let you do it. But I don't like if you want to go in front of if you're walking down the street in front of my neighbor and yelling a bunch of racist stuff, I'd be like, yeah, you're not winning anybody's, you know, heart. You're not winning over hearts and minds by doing it. Should you be allowed to do it? Yeah, by all means. And then we know to avoid you because we don't like you. If Megyn Kelly wants to put on blackface, by all means, go and do it. And I know to avoid you. OK, so but, but I think it's funny that the response to her saying this is to kind of like a, attack her and, and deride her instead of calmly being like, like, Megan, let me explain this to you or direct you to someone who can probably explain it better. There are certain things you shouldn't do out of decent general decency. And, that, and that's the thing, too. Like, let's 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 carry on with this talk about uh, in, in general, like, you know, hate speech and things of that nature. I would very much prefer it if people I associated with didn't speak in overly racist you know, ways and use racial slurs and all of this stuff. Like, I understand that sometimes there's jokes, they're not meant to be offensive, and, and jokes, that it's, it's nuanced, it's, it's not black and white. But if you're gonna go around using racial slurs all the time, I'm gonna ask you to stop. Because I don't wanna, I, like, I don't like that in my company, okay? Sometimes people say things that, that are meant to be jokes, and if I think it's in bad taste, I'll be like, yeah, 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 I get it, they're making a joke. But there's a lot of, a lot of like, it's, it's actually really, really simple. I really don't like racism and I really don't like racists. And you've seen me rant about like the ACLU and Harvard if you watch my channel. So you know, I really do mean it. And I really do get triggered when people are overly racist. But I'm not a crazy person. I understand the need for self, the need for free expression. And I understand a, something that's plain and simple. If you censor them, they come for you next. So by all means, crazy racist people, you want to say things, you're going to make me, you're going to, you're going to make me angry. I'm, I'm typically a calm and collected person. So even when I do get angry, I try to be in control of myself. I'm going to avoid you most likely. You know, I'm like, for instance, on my discord, we actually, I actually tell people like, try, I'm not going to ban you if you do it, but I'm going to say straight up, like, please keep that out of my discord. Right. And I know now people are going to probably jump in and say a bunch of dumb stuff and I'm not going to ban you for it. I won't. Uh, obviously people on the left are going to try and wield it against you, but it's, it's just, it's, it's really simple for me. It's really, really simple for me. And I hope it's simple for you too, in that as Americans, we need to not divide each other based on things that we can't change. I, I really take issue with overt racism, things like blackface, because you're damaging America. There was a debate between Jenk and uh, Tucker Carlson, and it was really fascinating. They, they, it was a really good job. Um, Jenk was very calm and, and Tucker was very calm as well. And Tucker said, we need in this country some, a, a, a culture that unifies us, something we agree on. He said language used, was, was kind of it. Now we're losing that. And if you have different cultures, you spin out. Your country breaks up because why wouldn't it? Uh, without a unifying culture and a way to communicate, he's right. And so this is why I take issue with bigotry and racism and all these things. If you go around saying things that like certain people who look a certain way have certain characteristics and that's why you don't like them, you are dividing us as a country. We need to learn to live with each other. We need to learn to live next door to our American neighbors. And you know what? Even to the extent that you might not agree with America's values, we still need to learn to live together. There are people on the left who, who hate America, who burn the flag. You still got to live with them. You still got to make sure the violence doesn't happen. Violence is illegal. We stop them when they do it. But the point is, one of our values is the right to express yourself. If you want to be divisive and cause problems, you're free to do it. It just means that I got to step up and fight back against you, right? So they say later in the discussion, Kelly defended a Diana Ross costume from the Real Housewives of New York star Luan D. Les Le Lesseps that drew backlash last year. She dressed as Diana Ross and she made her skin look darker than it really is. And people said that was racist. And I don't know. I thought like, who doesn't love Diana Ross? She wants to look like Diana Ross for one day. I don't know how that got racist on Halloween. And right. But here's the thing. This is not blackface, although they're now like starting to conflate that. Blackface is like a very specific thing that was done during minstrel shows. This, you know, and, and, and here's the thing too, like even to an extent like this, intent matters. Intent is important. George Carlin talked about this. If the intent of this woman was to pay homage, to praise and, 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 and celebrate Diana Ross, I think it's awesome. I think it's really cool. 
what's wrong with that? And there are people like, uh, I think Sammy Sosa, you know, the famous baseball player, like bleached his skin. Are we going to get mad at him for doing that? You know, I have not seen it, but it sounds a little racist to me. News correspondent Jacob Soberoff responded. I can't keep up with the number of people we're, we're offending just by being normal people, Kelly said at the end of the discussion. You know, here's the thing. I'm going to end by saying this. Should you offend people? No, you shouldn't. You should try to avoid offending people because we want to unite the country and be proud of, you know, proud of our, you know, we, we want to bring people together and live together. Are you allowed to offend people? Yes, all day and night, offense is not illegal and never should be. If this woman wants to dress up like this and it's offensive and she didn't understand, then what you need to understand is the intent. If she's intending to celebrate, then you can, you can say to her, look, I, I understand you have good intentions, but just keep in mind, you're gonna piss a lot of people off. It can be bad for business. If her intention was to mock and belittle, then you can say, go screw yourself. I don't wanna associate with you, but they're still allowed to do it, plain and simple. And this is, this is part of, you know, like Megyn Kelly, she brings up a fair point. I, I, I kind of disagree with her because, I, you know, but, but all that really should happen here is you should say, like this, this conversation is actually really great in my opinion. You know, so you can say, Megyn Kelly, I'm upset with you for, you for not understanding this, but if you don't teach her and educate her, then how can you really be mad at her for it? And the discussion is really important to ask these questions so, so people can understand why something would be considered offensive and why they shouldn't do it. Ultimately, it comes down to this. We're a country of markets. We are a country of laws. If we want to have the most viable, uh, the most efficient economy, and we want people to w agree to live together under these laws, then we need to make sure that we respect each other within the law and within the economy. If you want to start a business and discriminate against people, it is a, I'm of the opinion that if you're in public, operating on public infrastructure, you have an obligation to serve the public and you can't kick people out because you don't like the way they look. But when it comes to like the bakery and all that stuff, there's nuance because they were ordering a custom cake. And this is the, this is the challenge. The, the challenge is determining where the line is and I don't know where it is. But I do believe that if you want to be, if you want to say things, and be mean, by all means, go and do it. As long as somebody is willing to educate Megyn Kelly instead of deriding her. Anyway, stick around. I got one more video coming up in just a few minutes.